Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from K Hux Nation. And today we're back with another Union Cross episode talking about the latest Frozen 2 medals that have come out in the game. Um, as you can probably tell on the screen. Now, I, I chose not to use my fabulous green screen today. I just didn't feel like putting it up. So, we're doing this setup for today. Anyways, we're just going to jump right into it. I don't feel like spending too much time on this especially since i have to go to work in like an hour or so so we'll just jump right into it so this is the uh the banner we have supernova plus plus kingdom hearts 3 elsa all right it is a five pull mercy <laughs> it's worth noting because of the fact that sephiroth was a 15 pull mercy and tldr elsa is basically exactly the same as Sephiroth, just magic upright instead of power reverse. Why is there such a large difference? I don't know. Maybe it's because people aren't really pulling for Sephiroth nearly as much. Just, just my intuition. <laughs> Anyways, uh, by the way, just a quick snippet. I actually just saw Frozen 2 yesterday for my birthday. Um, and it was actually pretty good. Way more mu musicals than I uh, rem remember in Frozen 1, but Olaf was funny as fuck. I will say that. Uh, it was a really nice movie. I definitely had a little bit of feels. It's, 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 not, it's not nearly as up to the hype as Frozen 1, but it's, it was still pretty good. So it's still worth seeing in my opinion. Um, anyways, in terms of the actual metal itself, this is what the new metal looks like. Pretty good. All right. Who cares about that though? We just want to know about the abilities. So this is the ability: Converts three Supernova plus plus Elsa. Maximum strength of basically forty thousand, which is a lot. All right. Cost one gauge. Tier ten has a damage multiplier of seventy-eight point one two. Uh, is an AOE metal. Deals three hits for two turns. Okay, we haven't had a multi-turn ability in quite a hot minute. Uh, for two turns, raises magic metal strength by 2,500, the same as Sephiroth for power. Uh, increases or raises your general strength, upright strength, and magic strength by 15 tiers. Lowers the target's general, uh, my bad. Lowers the target's upright defense by 15 tiers. Raises your guilt buff boost, whatever. Raises your guilt buff by 200%. Uh, adds one counter. Has 30% defense boost piercing, uh, turns the next metal into magic, and for one turn reflects 100% magic. Supernova is an AoE supernova, has the mastery mechanic, so basically it's more, it does more damage against super, uh, in this case against power enemies than it usually would, okay. So it does extra damage against power enemies. For two turns, raises metal strength, magic metal strength, by 4,500. Lowers the target's general defense, upright defense, and magic defense by 15 tiers. Uh, increases guilt boost by 280%, and has a damage multiplier of 220 for the supernova. Okay, so really, pretty, it's it's almost literally exactly the same as Supernova Plus Plus Sephiroth, the city or whatever his name is. Um, the only thing worth noting is the fact that Sephiroth has 300% guilt boost instead of 280, uh, but 280 is still really good. It's only a 20% difference. It's it's not that big of a difference. Um, at least in my mind, it's not that big of a difference to warrant, you know, a 15 mercy pool. <laughs> Otherwise, it's exactly, it's pretty much almost exactly the same, uh, aside from the reflect. Okay. In my mind, it's basically... Elsa's almost like a, a, a mini combination between uh, Anti-Aqua for PvP and Sephiroth. She's pretty much just a combination of that. Now, to be honest, for me, in terms of how good she is, I personally could care less about the PvP mechanics. Why? Because PvP doesn't really matter anymore. There's literally, like, I have the only, like, at this point, the only reason why I personally even bother doing PvP is just for my dailies. That's it. Just for the daily missions. I, at this point, I care absolutely nothing at all about where I actually place in PvP. I could be in the bottom bracket for PvP for all I care because I literally don't get anything, I don't get any value from doing PvP anymore, okay? Um, because the only 
things they the only rewards you get in PvP these days. Noise. The only value you actually get out of PvP these days are the Meowows and Blue Fairies, both of which are now outdated. Especially with Supernova Plus Plus medals uh, out. Or just Supernova Plus medals in general. Because you don't need to use Meowows anymore to evolve medals into Supernova Plus. You don't need Ma uh, Blue Fairies anymore to evolve the 7 stars. Like, you literally just don't need anything from PvP. Um, the only time PvP is ever, like, remotely worthwhile is when they do like those deluxe PPP weeks and they give out like gems uh, and like a thousand jewels or something like that. Uh, those are the only times, the only weeks when PVP actually somewhat matters. And even then, even if you place like in like a mid-tier bracket, you still get most of the rewards. So it's like, PVP is kind of a joke right now. <laughs> so, realistically, the 30% uh, piercing defense boost thing and the 100% magic reflect it's just irrelevant in my eyes. I could care less about that. Doesn't even matter. It's the it's the actual rested ability to me that is whether or not how good this metal is. The fact that she turns the next metal to magic though, I find that actually kind of interesting just because of the fact you can actually use it on uh, some multicolored keyblades now to help try and get a bit more of a pure magic setup. Okay, which I think is kind of cool. Like uh. What did I say? Like... Kind of like a... You could do it on Fairy Stars, for instance. If you use... If you bought VIP and you got the recent uh, Dusk Metal. Here, I'll pull it up for you guys as well. If you got the recent Dusk Metal. Where is it? This guy. This, this metal. If you get the Kingdom Hearts 3 Dusk Metal from VIP, you can put that in slot 2 of Fairy Stars. You can put Elsa in slot 3 of Fairy Stars. Um, and then you could have any metal you want in slot 4 of Fairy Stars, which is normally a power reverse. But because Elsa turns it into magic, it's still a magic setup. Okay, And then you put like Kingdom Hearts 3 Lee in slot 5 of fairy stars okay and then you basically uh and then you just have like a another magic metal in your pet slot and boom you have a pure magic setup <laughs> on fairy stars like you, you can do stuff like that uh which is pretty cool honestly pretty cool um it's also worth noting too that magic upright is the most used attribute in the entire game across all the keyblades like statistically so you have more chances to actually utilize Elsa more effectively than you would uh, for Sephiroth for example okay let's just go ahead and pull up Sephiroth if it's still here uh, I think it's this one yeah you have a much better chance of using and utilizing Elsa effectively than you would for Sephiroth so that's definitely something worth noting uh, noting there we go that's the word uh, one thing I do find interesting though is that her debuffs on her main metal ability not the supernova but the main metal only debuff upright so I don't really think that's gonna be much of a big deal especially if you have uh, a Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie A with extra tech which by now you should have um, just because of how many times she's been reprinted uh, as well as the fact that we now have, we literally just have traits available for <laughs> that you can at the Moogle shop. <laughs> Even considering that a lot of the traits were on sale now for Black Friday in the Moogle shop for 1,000 jewels. With, like, there's no excuse why you shouldn't have a Kyrie Kingdom Hearts 3A. Uh, with extra attack by this time by this point you even if you don't have a nominee just yet as long as you have a uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie A with extra attack or Shion A with extra attack um, At least one of those two if not both highly recommend the Kyrie though The boss and D bus that we get in pretty much every metal at this point in time is kind of irrelevant Just because the Kyrie already does gives us almost all of it anyways, so <laughs> Kind of irrelevant um, the only thing that really matters on metals these days are a how much metal strength do they actually provide and B how much guilt boost do they actually provide okay most that's that's mostly related to their supernova though um, and C any other random extra 
miscellaneous abilities that happen to provide it. Like in this case, is turning the next metal into magic for Kingdom Hearts 3 Elsa. So, uh, oh yeah, and D, their multiplier. That's more or less like the only things that really matter at this point in time in terms of new metals. Uh, so, in this case, Elsa definitely is going to since it's also 2500 just like with sephiroth let's go ahead and look at Sephiroth. just like with sephiroth okay since she's also 2500 um this just automatically helps make magic better than power now <laughs> at this point pretty much um i think you could even can you i want to say that magic is now the strongest don't no, off the top of my head. I want to say it is, though. Because if you do it, this 5,000. Yeah. Magic's the strongest over power, but... I think speed... Speed is still the best, but right now, all the attributes are roughly in a state where they're kind of closing in the gaps, and they're all relatively the same now at this point. At least with the... Uh, the release of Elsa and Sephiroth. Okay, now of course that 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 only applies if you actually have Elsa and Sephiroth and like you know all of the really good speed medals. Uh, that's just in the meta aspect. Okay, whether or not that actually ends up being your best is a completely different scenario altogether, and that will just depend on what your me actual medals are. Um, but yeah, I would say overall, Elsa is a really good medal. She pretty much just works for everything in the game she's good for pvp um not that it matters she's good for pve setups just because she's aoe uh she has a really high multiplier okay definitely one of the higher end multipliers in the game at the moment the highest i think is like around an 82 like a times 82 multiplier something like that so it's really not that far off uh with the average now for the supernova plus plus medals being like around 80. so 78 is still not too bad that's still pretty good um so good multiplier, good ability, because the 2500 magic strength. Um, just gotta make sure you use a magic setup when using her. Um, still has a really good guilt buff, which is 280%, as well as provides the uh, 4500 metal strength buff in the supernova for two turns, which is also worth noting, because most supernovas with metal strength buffs only last for one turn. Uh, it's also worth noting that's the same thing as well for the ma main ability too, that's two turns. Meaning that realistically, She's actually, if you're in a PvE uh, scenario, or uh, yeah, like quest that you need to last multiple turn ins. Let's say, for example, um, if you're still struggling against the foretellers, for example, okay, this metal strength is definitely gonna make a big difference because what this really is saying is that instead of 2,500 extra strength, it's actually 5,000 extra strength just because of the fact that it lasts two turns. So, over the course of two turns, you're actually getting 5,000 strength with one use of the uh, of Elsa without extra attack. If you have extra attack on Elsa, that's actually plus 10,000 strength over the course of two turns. Um, that's not even counting the number of times you actually are copying her too, which I would recommend. So, definitely one of the better end of the medal so far. I don't think Sephiroth even does two turns. Yeah, Sephiroth doesn't even do two turns. She, he does one turn. So... Definitely a really good metal. Also good for PvE. Also good for PvP. Um, low cost. Just overall a really solid metal. So in terms of whether or not I would recommend actually pulling for Elsa. What I would say is it just completely depends on how badly you need a new Magic Upright metal at this point in time. Okay. Um, Considering the fact that she is a 5 mercy pull, let's go back up here, that she is a 5 mercy pull, available to everyone, it's not a VIP exclusive, it, it, it's available to everyone, okay, it, like, if you choose to get Elsa, you won't regret it, just because of the fact of how usable she is across mo uh, majority of Keyblade statistically, okay. Um... A lot of the multicolored Keyblades have at least one magic upright slot on them. Um, and of course you have the mono magic Keyblades as well. So, really good metal. Very easy to use across the majority of the Keyblades. You can use it in every situation. Um, 
I would. It just depends on whether or not you actually need a new magic upper metal at this point. That I, I would recommend whether or not you pull you you choose to pull for. Her. So that's kind of it. Nothing complicated. So that's it for today, guys. Go ahead and let me know what your thoughts and comments are about the new Elsa medal in the comment section down below. If you're not aware as well, we are supposed to be receiving a Kingdom Hearts 3 Ana uh, medal too, just for logging in for you know as a kind of celebration for frozen 2 being released i don't know why they didn't mention it in any of the notices i found that kind of strange um but we're supposed to be getting that they mentioned it in the uh twitter announcement if i can pop that up mention it in the twitter announcement let me blow this up real quick let's see uh tweets yeah they have it in the they like show it right here they did it in the twitter announcement but they don't have it in the notices for some reason <laughs> i don't know why it's kind of strange to me but anyways that's it go ahead and let uh, if you enjoyed the video please leave a like subscribe and hit that bell button so that's why i know when i upload more videos such as this one my name is brian from chaotic nation i'll see you guys in the next video peace guys